Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for July 30th to August 5th 2018. So four cards spread for us Scorpios and the first one represents the topic of our week. We do have the Knight of Wands. Wow, okay, so the next one represents the core of the situation. This is going to be the Ace of Cups. And afterwards, we do have the Four of Swords, which falls into a challenging position. And the last one is going to be uh, the Wheel of Fortune as a uh, guidance for us. So that could be very well a person, all right? So this card, uh, the, the Knight of Wands here, it does depend on our current status and our current situation. It generally could be a person, all right? These cards does not say what exactly that card is gonna play like. I could go with uh, only a person, you know, and seem much more um, kind of like confident in my predictions but uh, this is about a professional reading here guys and as a, a professionalist you have to cover up as much as you can all right so your diagnosis eventually comes accurate people can make sense of it so the uh, knight of wands that as a person that could be a suitor and a very well is going to be one here with the ace of cups taking place as a core of the situation suitor which approaches you outside of a current relationship all right so that could be a very dangerous part and the fact that we do have the four of swords here into a challenging position it does means that you are going to find it very hard to stop yourself to give yourself into that person all right and uh, in case we're talking about business here that could be someone who uh, kind of seems very energetic regarding business and you may slip down their road just to find out that they are very inconsistent and all that they are talking about uh, is kind of like empty words so you have to be very careful here but if it but if you are single this these cards are representing you with um an opportunity to create a, a, a kind of like a a, a short term relationship to start with okay but this it doesn't mean that it, w it won't traverse into a long-term relationship uh, it's just the problem here is with that person and because they don't have staying power right so you have to be interesting to them Scorpio otherwise whenever uh, as soon as you become boring for them they will try to amuse themse themselves with someone else excuse me about that that's my air conditioning, it's gonna stop right away. So it stopped. Anyway, so yeah, uh, they don't have that staying power and they are, they, they, they are searching for a an amusing experience that could come only through exploring and only through finding things which are interesting to them. So that being said, guys, uh, don't place a, a big hopes into it, but definitely these cards are advising you, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, if you are single, to experience these pleasant uh, kind of like a quality time with that guy. Um, if you are into, you know, having a, I don't know, you know, um, generally you know sex without any strings uh, attached to it as a, uh, s a serious commitment this is going to be the most beneficial week for you but uh, in general that could be as well a, a threat to your current relationship so you have to be very careful if you're finding yourself in such then if the card is not a person then it speaks that you have so many things to explore all right so many that you will not have the physical time to explore all of them and what these cards advising you is as soon as you scorpio find the one that works for you and find the one that really uh, gives you the joy of doing it and uh, the results of it is also much as your expectations to stop exploring but rather focus more focus yourself upon that thing entirely all right so it's kind of like finding your way how to be more productive and how to kind of exert varieties into your uh, ongoing daily routine either into your career or either into your relationship and as i said the problem is that you will not have any staying power here with the four of swords so it's going to be very hard for you to really define which from all these things you have to push forward right now but one person can make just so much so you you have to focus on one particular thing and I hope that your decision is going to be um, quite accurate and the last card that we do have here is the Wheel of Fortune as an advice card 
and in that particular case is that uh, you should not slack so this is going to be a very um, how can I place it guys a very dynamic a very uh, potent week from events, from activities, from enterprises. Things are gonna come and go, and uh, you will have a small windows of opportunity to take every single one of them, including with that suitor. And, and as a matter of fact, it may not be only just one suitor, all right? It could be multiple suitors coming in your way. The bottom line, the bottom line is that you will be able to make a certain commitments this uh, this uh, week either you know with a person or either against a, a certain enterprise the commitments are there the only problem here is which one is gonna be right that's the only problem that you're gonna face and as we do have the core of the ace of cups it means that whatever you stop yourself upon it has to be something that truly and you enjoy and makes your life transcend or makes your reality to transcend. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tower reading for July 30th to August 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.